I received the most amazing email yesterday from a woman called Stephanie. And her question was so poignant and so amazing. She said, Sheila, I keep hearing you talking about power moves and I don't understand what that means. Help me out. Well, Power moves, Stephanie, are a system that you use in your business. It's a system that is the backbone of productive. Ooh, we need to go this way. It's, a, it's the backbone of productive, and it's what I use to fuel my business, which has allowed me to reclaim my time and achieve the business goals that I set year after year and every quarter after every quarter. So let me talk you through a little bit about this system so that you can see why productive is such a game changer in people's lives. What we want is to have a clear picture of what you want out of your business. There are lots of you who know where you want your business to be a month from now or you know, six weeks from now or two months from now. What we really want is clarity of where your business is going to be 10 years from now. What does it look like? What are you spending your time doing? How much revenue is, ma is it making? Do you have people on your team or is it just you? And if you're feeling really frisky, you could even challenge yourself to go a little bit further and say, well, what is my exit strategy? How long do I want to be running this business? And when I'm done, what do I want to have happen on the back end? Do I want to sell it? Is it going to disintegrate? Is it going to go away? Is it a legacy? Can you pass it on to someone else? What does that look like? So the whole process of using power moves begins with that 10 and 5 year vision. And then we reverse engineer what it is that you want. We figure out if you want to be in a certain location in five years, then where do you want to be one year from now? When we know that, then we break it up even further into what needs to happen in the next 90 days for you to get to that one-year vision. This is the process that is the backbone of productive. So let me just sort of flip around a little bit so you can see how I walk you through that whole process. It does start with the big vision. We sit and we plot out what that big vision is, and then we're going to reverse engineer it. We're going to set it into yearly goals. Most business owners usually have three types of goals. One, I noticed 95% of the women using Productive have a revenue-based goal. Revenue and money is not the be-all, end-all. It's not everything about your business. It is, however, a sign of the health of your business. We can't run a business and build a business just because we want to make money. It's got to be rooted in that passion and purpose. But money is a barometer that we can use to measure whether things are working well. Is your marketing working? Are you attracting the right people? Uh, are you able to deliver what it is that you sell, cover all your expenses, pay you, and also have a little bit of money left over, which is what we call the profit. So the money is not the be-all, end-all, but it is one barometer that I notice most business owners use as a measure of the health of their business. So usually one of those goals is revenue-based. Another one of those goals is often marketing-based or community-based. People want to increase the amount of people that are joining their community, and therefore we want to put a metric beside it, and we want to say, well, I want to have 100 new people in my community this summer, or I want 1,000 new people in my community this summer. Whatever it is doesn't matter. It's whatever is going to serve you and your business. But what we want to do is then outline that as your yearly goal, and then we do a little bit of a brainstorm or a brain dump of, well, in the next 90 days in Q1, what are some things that I could be doing in order to achieve that marketing goal or the number of new people in my community? It's just really a way to think about what's coming up and a way to be forecasting where you want your business to go and a way for you to be measuring because one of the most imp uh, important tools that we want to have is some key measurables each and every month to know whether you're hitting your targets. Your targets, like I said, they could be revenue, they could be the number of prospecting calls that you're booking, they could be the number of units that you sell. You could be measuring the engagement on your social media 
posts to see if they're actually working. You could be measuring um, your team members. What is it that they're doing and what do you want them to be outputting within your business? We want to have that scorecard for your business that we monitor and measure on a regular basis so that you know if things are going well. That prevents you from just going through the cycle every day and just doing what it is that you do and staying in this groundhog day effect of just being in business every day. So uh, these yearly goals let you break it down into the next 90 days. And then after that, we take it and we look at the quarterly goals. We first reflect on what the last 90 days brought us. And we do that because the one of the things we never do as business owners is celebrate our successes. And our successes are so important. If we focus only on what still has to happen for us to get to our goals, then it's really not motivating. And I can't think of the word that's opposite for not motivating. I don't know if you're watching, maybe you could give me a good word to use. But it's it sort of it wears you down if you're always looking at that gap between where you are and want, where you want to be. And what we forget to notice and realize is how amazing where we've come is. Where we've come tells us what's going really well. Coming Re- reviewing where we are and what's happening allows you to measure what's going well. What has to we do we need to do differently? What do we want to start, stop, and continue doing? Start, stop, continue doing so that we keep getting results and keep moving on that path to where we want to be. You see, your goals aren't going to be achieved in one massive fell swoop. They're going to be achieved through a series of small actions on a consistent and regular basis. And those actions, Stephanie, because you asked me this question, I'm speaking to you, but I'm really speaking to anybody. Those actions are the power moves. When we know what actions we need to take on a regular basis in order to get us where it is that we want to go, then we can be strategic and very um focused on our time so we're not sitting there scrolling Facebook or, you know, getting lost in Instagram, which I got lost the other day because I forgot what I was doing. So once we see the quarterly reflections, we then look ahead to the next 90 days. We want to know what do we want to achieve in the next 90 days? And then what are the obstacles that may stand in our way? Listen, it would be delusional If I said to you, this path that you're on, just because you've laid it out, is going to be a glorious path for you to skip down. That's just, sorry, cover your ears for a second. That's just bullshit. It's not right. There's going to be issues that come up because this is life. And so let's forecast what challenges may come up and stand in our way so that we can be resilient and resourceful, which is your two most powerful keys in your business, when they come up. So let's identify what obstacles might come up and let's foreshadow and come up with some strategies to overcome them. And then what are some of those power moves or very pointed actions that we need to take to get us to what that goal is? So those are the quarterly reflections that are in the book. The next thing is to then plan out our weeks. Every Friday night before you clock off or Friday morning, whenever you you shut down for the weekend or Sunday night before you start, lay out your week ahead. Remind yourself what your priorities and your goals are in your business and what you're going to do this week in order to make it happen. And today I'm recording this on a Friday. This is a wonderful process for you to go through before you clock off so that you have the weekend to be just mulling over and thinking about what you're going to do the next week. Again, one of your most powerful assets as a business owner is to have that clarity of knowing what's coming up so that you can be thinking about it. So, for example, this week, I knew that I had to record three videos. And so I knew what the topics were going to be. I didn't know what the topic of today's one, but Stephanie, you gave me such a gift by writing in and asking me what exactly a power move was in that it let me it let me know. I knew yesterday that I was going to shoot a video about 
the uh, the special that I have. There's an early bird special. If you pre-order your book and you choose the premium elite bundle, you get into the elite bundle with your productive, which has a group coaching program on the back end for 20% off. So I knew I was going to record a video, which meant on Tuesday and Wednesday, when I had a little bit of downtime, I could be percolating and thinking about what it was that I wanted to say, so that when it came time to shoot the live video, I was ready to go. Now I'm unscripted. This is me. I don't have a transcriber anywhere. This is me just talking to you because I know what I want to do. I want to talk you through the system that I use in Productive to help keep you in action. So before you clock off or before you start your week, go and remind yourself what those goals are that you're working on and what power moves you're going to take that week. Then we have here um, morning slots, evening slots, and time slots throughout the day. When you know what you need to do, then you start plotting it into your week based on the time that you have available to work. Yes, things come up. Yes, sometimes you have arrows going from one day to another. Sometimes you don't get it done. My rule of thumb is if there's an action that's in your planner that you don't do for three weeks in a row, it's time to outsource it, time to get some help with it from someone else. Then we have a little list over here of people who you need to contact or connect with or that you maybe here it says who needs to contact me, who are you waiting to hear from so that any of these projects can be moving forward. Because you know when you send that email to so and so you're like oh I'm going to send it to you know Susie Q for this and then you forget that you sent it and you forget that you're waiting to hear back. Let's just remove the ambiguity from our week and keep really focused and keep on track of everything that's going on so that we don't drop balls. We don't let things go or fall to the weight side. Then we have um, your wins for the week. What are the wins for the week? And this is a way for you to be checking in consistently and regularly with yourself of what went really well this week to prevent you from falling down that slippery slope of only focusing on the gap between where you are and where you want to be. You do have wins every week, but for some reason, we tend to be a little bit resistant to be following it. So that is, um, oh, the other thing we have here is this week I'm grateful for. I don't need to tell you the importance and the power of living in gratitude for what we have. It's my way of helping you shift your mindset a little bit to the positive where we focus on what we do have, not on what we don't have. So that is the power move system that has allowed me to build my business and has helped the women who are also building a business at, who implement this system for themselves to achieve their goals and to reclaim their time. And it is the premise behind productive, which is a productivity planner, which is in the process of being finalized and printed and right now is available for pre order through the Kickstarter campaign. As I mentioned, there are some amazing rewards that are attached. It's the only time a year that I discount my programs because it allows me to give back. You don't need any more t-shirts or coffee mugs or other gimmicky things in your life. What you need is help. <laughs> we all do. We all need knowledge help. Um, accountability help, support help, guidance help. And so that's why I've leveraged my programs as the rewards with a cash discount because who doesn't love saving money? So maybe it's in Accelerator, Momentum, and I know someone's thinking about the impact private coaching. Um, so if that's on your radar, it's most likely going to be gone by the end of the weekend. So I hope that you will join me in this productive movement that I'm starting. It is for women who want more. And the more women that we can get on board in this movement, the more women we can have increasing their impact and their footprint any, everywhere. And the more amazingness and the more amazingness we can bring to the world. I know the work that you do is so incredibly powerful and it's so incredibly impactful. And if I can help you do just a little bit more on your terms, then my mission is fulfilled. It's absolutely what I stand for is helping women entrepreneurs launch, grow and scale their businesses so they can increase their impact. 
So that is Stephanie, the power move system, which is the process that my clients use to achieve the results that they're looking for in their business. I hope that answers your question. If you have any other questions about the planner or you want to talk about the pre-ordering process or maybe you're considering one of the coaching packages but you want to talk about whether it's the right fit for you, just send me a, a note. You can PM me, you can email me, you can tweet me, you can Instagram me, you can throw a bat signal up in the air, smoke signals, whatever it is, just reach out and ask and let's talk. And I can guarantee you I will not suggest something that's not the right move for you. I spoke to someone the other day and she was thinking about the impact program and I actually encouraged her to think of a different program because I didn't think it was the right move for her. So if you want to talk, let's talk. In the meantime, we do have that early bird special. It does end tonight at 9 p.m. I think it, it ends. And when it's gone, it's gone. It's not coming back. And that allows you to be a part of the uh, Activate Productive group coaching program that will be launched when the productives get mailed out in the fall. I'm saying November, but between you, me, and the internet, it's going to be October. But uh, I just wanted to create a buffer in case something happens. And for $79, you can be a part of the Activate Productive Group Coaching Program, which includes a 90-minute live call with me, plus three follow-up group calls where we can just make sure you're in action and implementing the steps that you have in place. And like I said, it's available for $79 instead of the normal $97 that it will be listed at after uh, this evening's deadline. So there you go, Stephanie. That's the power move system. It is the system every business owner needs to have in their business in order to achieve their goals and reclaim their time and just be able to keep doing some amazingness in your business and your life. So thank you. And I look forward to chatting with you soon.